Mm, we are concerned about how deterministic some crafts are and how easily players can craft near perfect items. We don't feel this is consistent with how PIE, POE itemization should work. Our design philosophy around items and crafting. Mm. We could see it became very clear that there was this was a very powerful crafting system. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. What can we say? In the end game, Havis Crafting allowed the creation of some ridiculous <coughs> items. Necropolis via the most a set of deterministic crafts and interactions. Mm. Familiar. Mm. True. What can we say? Ooh. Express frustration and gain the most efficient way to get the best items in PoE. Mm. Our philosophy. Mm. It's at our core. PoE is a game about acquisition of powerful items. Okay. It's important. Items are hard to perfect. Mm. Ideally, there should be some diminishing returns. Mm. Interesting. We feel that this current state is it runs against both our import these important philosophies. Hmm. Oh, sounds familiar, I guess. We understand that some players will back like the attached, which is not part of exile we are set out to make. Oh, we don't want to feel take away the feel of closing your eyes and exalt slamming. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. What can I say, huh? Yeah, I don't think, you know. Triple fractures, double fractures, and you know, double influenced items. Nah, it's not deterministic or super powerful. I don't. Nah, I don't think so. You know, I want to exalt slam on. You can only hit the suffixes. You know, <sighs> deterministic crafting. We don't want any of that. It's like they're perfect items. Come on, come on. You know, what can I say? No perfect items. Broken. <sighs> it's not so powerful. Come on, it's not even in-game crafting. Come on, man. Come on, man. Oh my goodness, look what we have today, people. Look at this glory, look at these amazing, beautiful son of a guns. This is not we our philosophy, this is not our intention. We didn't make PoE to be this way. Hello and welcome everybody to the 47 game in action. Sit back, relax and enjoy, hope everyone's doing well. We've got a bit of a interesting take today, guys. We're gonna be talking about PoE 3.24 Necropolis League uh, mechanic and just specifically the mechanic and the crafting side of it. Um, so let's get right into it. As you saw from the video, there's a number of different things we're looking at. Uh, previous posts of what GGG was saying is that uh, I feel that GGG has basically undone the last maybe couple of leagues or number of years of uh, patches and what they've been saying. Completely undone it, I think, to an extent. Um, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if it was a PR stunt. I'm not sure if the bosses at Tencent were saying. I don't know if the numbers were down or player retention. I'm not really sure doesn't really matter at this point the fact that uh, they just went did went and did something that went against their core values and philosophy over the last number of years they've been preaching and saying oh we want this and we want this we want the direction of poe it's not what this is it's not what that is and i think it's just kind of like hypocritical of them to do over the last number of years and then just go do the thing they've wanted to not do you know uh, deterministic way of crafting items it's in a necropolis deterministic way uh you go put the calculations in, go put the corpses in. It's a very deterministic way to get absolutely busted items. Crazy. It's easily, you can easily craft in-game items. Um, and this is what concerned them about, like, Harvest. They said even in all these number years ago, uh, this was the first part that concerned us was uh, Harvest was critical in making the best items and hence made other, many other game systems obsolete. How is that any different from what's currently happening? Um, why would I go use essences? Why would I bother using fracturing orb? Um, why would I go use beast crafts? Um, there's 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 no value to it. Like, um, it's it's I don't know what's what's going on. I don't know what the thought process is. It's very deterministic and absolute almost end game perfect items. Have you seen? Looked at some of these items. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, it's crazy. And if you don't craft and use it, are you going to be losing out? And you feel like you listen. You need to be forced to use this mechanic. Um, it's just, you'll never, I don't recall ever seeing these items beforehand. Sure, Harvest was busted. Sure, you could argue even Sentinel was busted. But then they turned it down. And what they're doing, in, this is probably the third or fourth time they're doing, they're giving us basically a toy. 
nice, awesome toy. And they're just going to take it away, break it, and give it back to us. It's like, think about that for a second. How is how, how is Necropolis different from Harvest? It's actually worse. It's actually, well, we shouldn't say worse, but it's super buffed. It's mega buffed. I mean, you couldn't get this many fractures in Harvest and rolled influence items, awaken them together. It's, it's I don't know. Um, I don't know what they're thinking. It's just that you, I, to some degree, I think I've lost some trust in GGG and their so-called vision. Because next league, they mustn't turn around and say, oh, we don't want deterministic crafting. Oh, we don't want this. Because they intentionally just made this mechanic, buffed it up, and went in the direction they uh, been going against this whole time. The whole process of oh, randomly rolling items using exalt slams and this, it's just, it's just so unfortunate. Um... Of course, you know, I want to say, oh, it's nice to have such an overpowered mechanic and it's making the best items and this and that and spend 10, 20 divine and make mirror tier items, you know. And this is what's happening, as you saw. A couple of the layouts. Let's talk about it. Here's some of the harvest layers out, layout previously. Here's Necropolis. Bunch of different corpses, whole design, min-max, this, that. And if you go put it in Craft of Exile, um, there's an option there for grave crafting. There's a very deterministic way to get these items and multiple copies of them. Multiple splits. Um, and you're basically flooding, these art, uh, uh, flooding the market with these like multiple uh, tier, like mirror tier items. And it's just, I don't know. It's just crazy. And it's just, we know this is not going cool currently. And we know they're going to take it and absolutely destroy, the, destroy it. Basically destroy it. So I don't know why then in the first place they give us something that goes... Against their principles and values um, and I just remember them redoing harvest and we re looking at harvest and talking about their principles and philosophies and stuff and I'm not sure if it's just a facade I'm not sure if it's wording uh, maybe I'm looking at it in the wrong direction maybe it's me um, this is just looking at the crafting mechanic specifically um, and looking at the different angles and it's just like why would I bother using any of the other stuff, any of the other items. I think fracturing orbs were like a divine. Like, why would I use it? Um, when you can get something that's way better. And me, personally, I'm kind of staying away from the Acropolis interaction there with the, the getting these absolutely busted items. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it. I just, I don't know. Something about that just rubbed me up the wrong way. And maybe my opinion is biased. I do agree in that regard. And there's a bunch of people just making hype videos. Oh, look at this item. Oh, look at this. Make this. Use this. Abuse this. Do that. Use the fracturing. Influence item. This. And it's like, I don't know. I don't think having these type of videos and encouraging and pushing this type of narrative is healthy for the game. Again, they have, you know, they, they, they want to grow their channel, this and that, and they incentivize to some degree and push in that way. But for me, I just, I don't know if this is even good for the game or healthy for the game. It's just, as I said, give you a toy and just take it back. It's like, rather just don't give me the toy. Um... But maybe I'm just in a different mood, a different opinion, different perspective. And I definitely could be wrong. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. There's okay to be wrong. And you make certain judgments or certain opinion in a certain way. And there's nothing wrong with just saying, listen, I messed up. And it could be a situation like I could be reviewing this and be like, you know what? Maybe I was too harsh or maybe I was narrow-minded. And all these type of things, which is completely fine. And there's nothing wrong for me to admit. Uh, I do make a mistake and it's totally fine. Um, currently, this is the way I currently feel. And I'll give it a bit more thought on it. It's just that I've been thinking about it for the last couple of days and since since the launch of it. Just the crafting aspect. If you look at the league overall, definitely not super thrilled, but that's fine. Sometimes you don't have a league that you don't like, and sometimes they have a league that you do like, and it's just the way life is and the way PE is. So I want to share this with you guys. Maybe you guys have different aspects, different opinions, and maybe I haven't thought of them. Feel free to share, comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know. It's always interesting to get a bit of your guys aside and opinion on it. So thank you everybody that listened all the way to the end. I do appreciate it. Look after yourself. Take care. This is 47 Game Insight.